What is the difference between a compound clip and a fusion clip? If you right click on any clip on a timeline, they're right next to each other. New compound clip, new fusion clip. And sometimes they function exactly the same way. If you make a compound clip, give it a name, it's on a single track, you can right click and open in a timeline and you see that clip. Or you can right click and make it a fusion clip. It looks like the same thing. You can also right click and open in a timeline. And if you make either a compound clip or a fusion clip from one source clip, if you open the fusion page, you just have one media in. But notice I did say one involving one clip because that is the critical difference. And what I wanna go over in this video is something I have seen no one talk about since it was first brought up in the announcement video for DaVinci Resolve 17 well over a year ago. And there is some reason to why it has gone undiscussed. There is a lot of cool stuff in Resolve and especially cool stuff that came in with Resolve 17 or later. So let me show you what the difference between a compound clip and a fusion clip is, specifically how they work being brought into fusion. And then we'll talk about some very exciting use cases, specifically a brand new product I am launching today that takes advantage of this feature no one else is using. I'm really excited. It's a product that I think could save the right person hours of work. But first, let's answer that question, what is a fusion clip? Let me bring on a second copy of this clip. And if I select both of those and right click and create a compound clip, and if I were to select your mouse over this compound clip and enter the fusion composition, I would have one media in. And this media in would be the result of that fusion composition. If I went in that timeline, moved things around, had videos on top of each other, did whatever in there, that is what would show up here. But if I undo that, I have two clips and I select those and right click and go to new fusion clip. It takes up one layer on my edit page timeline. But when I open that up in the fusion page, now we have a media in one and a media in two. When you bring a fusion clip into Fusion, it looks at that timeline and takes everything on a different video clip and brings that in as a different media in node inside Fusion. And once you're in Fusion, you can add any of your default effects. You can change these clips however you want to. You can layer them, add effects. It can get funky real quick. But of course, this is still something you could achieve with only one media in since it is the same source clip. So let me go back to the edit page and demonstrate more. I have some more gameplay clips. I've got six different video streams that I have stacked now here and I can select all of them, right click, new fusion clip. It does leave all their audio on the edit page, which is good since fusion can't handle audio, but we are left with this one fusion clip here. And if I bring that into fusion, we see six different media in nodes that we can preview, cycle through, and rearrange, work with however we want to. Now, some of you are very smart and you're probably thinking, yes, but if I have those clips in my media pool, I could always just drag them into a new fusion composition and bring them in that way. But here is the very, very exciting thing. The thing that was mentioned in that announcement video and that I haven't seen anyone else take advantage of. You can create presets and templates that take advantage of fusion clips. You can build a preset that assumes it will have six different inputs and you can apply any number of uh, effects on top of that to each of those individual inputs and have it all be drag and drop on the edit page. Let me just show you. So we have this one fusion clip with six different uh, gameplay clips inside of it. Now, if I wanted to take these six clips and just arrange them spaced evenly out in frame, I could do that here on the edit page through the inspector and the transform controls. I could make them a fusion clip, go into fusion and then use the correct nodes to slide them into space and give them a background. Or now I could come down to effects, Sterling Supply Company, and we have Layout Pro. Layout Pro is my brand new digital product available today, and this is what it does. In this Fusion clip, I have six different video clips, so I'm gonna scroll down until I get to my options for six. We have four of them, so I'll just select this version two, and the mouse over is giving it away a little bit, but I'll drag and drop that right on the Fusion clip, and boom, our six gameplay clips uh, are evenly spaced here. Make sure my inspector is open, come over to effects, and I have custom controls for source clip. I can change the uh, size and position of any of these. I can change the mask as well if I want all of these to have rounded corners. And of course I have background controls if I want that to be a different color or transparent. 
I can always do that. Or I could scrap it, toss on another one. Now, even if you go back to playback render cache and that is on smart, you might need to right click on this and go to render cache fusion effect filter and select the effect to have this cache properly if you're having any playback issues. And in this pack, it has presets for up to 20 different video layers on screen at once. And that depending on your system and what kind of files you're working with, especially could be hard to play back in real time. So caching could be really valuable to you. But once that is cached, you should have no issue playing this back. Six different clips aligned, evenly spaced. You have all those custom controls afterwards. You could shrink or rearrange or do all sorts of stuff to these. And again, if you didn't catch it in the effects library, you can mouse over any of these to see that layout or demo your footage. But also the custom icon that comes for each of the effects is the layout of that special effect as well. There are 42 different presets in this pack. And just because of the way screen real estate works, we do have a lot more configurations for less video count. And there are presets for two through nine video clips, and then it jumps to 12, 16, and 20. And just for fun, let's check it out here. I have 20 different clips and I can select all of those, right click, turn into one fusion clip, takes up one spot on our timeline and I just scroll up here to have our two different options. I can just select one, drag that on the fusion clip, give it a second to think. And here we have 20 video clips automatically laid out. Again, we have all those custom controls as well. Completely good to go. I did just duplicate the same five clips. That's why they are repeating. These could be 20 completely identical video clips. Right click to cache that effect as well. Give it a second to process. But once that red bar is turned to blue, that's cached. And hey, we have 20 video clips from 20 unique sources, perfectly arrayed, playing back. It's so easy. <laughs> I've been working on this pack for a while. You can imagine oh, with so many sources and then all of the custom control options, uh, it was a little tedious at times, but I think it's worth it. This pack, Layout Pro, is available now. Details will be in the description. Just like my previous digital products, my text effect pack and my 3D transitions pack, not only will channel members at that $5 tier or above get Layout Pro for free, they already have it. I have Discord, which I plan to make public before too long. Right now, members have early access to that Discord and members at that $5 tier or above get access to the free stuff channel. The goodies include now all three of my paid digital products. I was happy to give them all early access as this was coming together. And I'm very excited for what I want to do for members going forward as well. Expect to hear more about Leo Pro. I was going to do a fully standalone video just showing off the product, but I also thought this was an excellent example to show off Fusion Clips in general. This is one very valuable use case, but Fusion Clips can do so much. I've talked a lot about editing for TikTok and YouTube Shorts, especially for streamers. But someone asked what to do if they had separate recordings of their game play and then their webcam. You could use this. You could create a custom promo that relied on fusion clips. You could bring in your full resolution webcam, full resolution gameplay, and just reposition those inside a fusion clip. It's very exciting. I want to do more with this. Stick around. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.